Hi everybody, so for my Asperger's vlog today, I wanted to talk about, um, I'll call it forced socialization, and what I mean is when you or someone else puts pressure on you to socialize when you really don't want to, or to do events when you really don't want to, that kind of thing, um, when the pressure comes from outside yourself, like, you know, a friend or a family member or an employer or a teacher or whatever trying to get you to do some social activities or something like that. Um, in some cases, I think that's really good. For instance, like, what sometimes I do stuff that I don't really want to do, but I do it because I care a lot about the person who really wants to do it and they want me there. Like, you know, if my mom or my husband have something going on and they really want me to go with them, um, I'll usually try to go just because if it means a lot to them, then I guess it's kind of worth it, you know, the kind of mild discomfort I have to go through to do the social activities. Um, but there can be times when outside forces can try to pressure you too much to do, especially too much social activity. I know that when I was in school, some of my teachers would try to pressure me to be involved in lots of different things. And um, I think they did it well-meaning. I mean, they wanted to kind of get me involved in things. And I don't necessarily think it would have been bad if I'd have been involved in maybe one or two things. But a lot of times I kind of just shied away from all of it because, you know, I didn't know for sure what would be best to go to or to join or whatever and so I just kind of didn't do any of it and I think it would have been better if they would have just maybe encouraged me to try one or two things that they really saw you know I had the potential or the gifts for so that kind of pressure um it can be good and you know it can be bad if it's too much but I want to talk even more about the kind of pressure, especially as an adult, that I tend to put on myself to do social activities. And the reason I put this pressure on myself is, well, for one thing, I've been told all my life how important it is to do social things and get out and meet people. And, you know, so I have in my head this feeling that I need to do it. You know, there's something wrong with me if I'm not doing it. And so it's kind of a kind of guilt, like, if I don't make myself go out and do things, then, you know, I'm not doing what I should do or whatever. And then there's also a feeling that I have personally that, you know, I want to, when I get to the end of my life, I don't want to feel like I didn't live, like I didn't try anything or do anything. So, so often I put that kind of pressure on myself, like, you know, well, you need to go out and do things because otherwise, you know, your life isn't going to matter. Um, you know, nobody's going to remember you or, you know, your life's going to be in vain, that kind of thing. And that kind of pressure, I'm starting to think it's really kind of negative because it really makes me feel bad about myself. And like, if I can't get past the social anxiety and go to the event or do something that I'm putting pressure on myself to do, then I feel like a failure and like, you know, I've let myself down and like let the world down. And, and that's the thing is when I fail to do what I think I should do or what I put pressure on myself to do, I really beat myself up over it. I mean, I think it's partly because I'm like a perfectionistic person. And when I make any mistake, I really tend to have this kind of self-anger or even like self-hatred come up and I know that's very negative and actually feeling those emotions the self-anger and the self-hatred and you know the depression and stuff that comes with feeling like I've let myself or other people down I think all of that actually keeps me from doing stuff that otherwise I might do that you know so in in a sense it's kind of like this unending cycle you know I I have an anxiety attack and I'm not able to do something that I felt like I should do and then I beat myself up so hard over it that, you know, the next time an event comes along I'm so depressed and, you know, feeling bad about myself I don't want to do it anyway. So I'm going to try to stop putting so much pressure on myself to do things. And that doesn't mean I'm not going to do anything. I mean, I still want to be involved in things. and. 
But I'm starting to see that forcing myself to participate in things I really have no interest in or, you know, things that just really don't matter to me, you know, it does no good because when I do force myself to go to something that I don't really care about or that doesn't mean a lot to me, then I tend to get really, really bored. I don't participate anyway. I just kind of either stare into space and daydream or, you know, I sit there thinking about all the things I'd rather be doing. Um, and sometimes when I get really, really, really bored, it takes a lot of effort to exert the kind of self-control over myself so that I don't do something socially inappropriate. You know, like yelling at somebody or like, you know, just running out of the room or, you know, things like that. And it's just, it's really stressful. Um, so I've started to see that, you know, maybe I don't have to force myself to be into so many things, but instead maybe I should focus on, you know, a couple areas or a couple things that really mean a lot to me and really matter to me and instead try to put, you know, effort into doing those things. And the reason I was making this video was mainly just because I kind of wanted to share what I was going through and to see if anybody else with Asperger's tends to have this same kind of cycle where, you know, you try to force yourself to do things you really don't want to do and then you beat yourself up over it and then you get depressed and then you don't want to do anything else and then you beat yourself up again and again and again, that kind of thing. And like I said, I, I don't want to promote some kind of selfish attitude. Like, you know, if you have a family member or a loved one and something really means a lot to them and you can tell it really means a lot to them, then I think if you can, you should try to be there for them. Because, you know, that's part of having any kind of relationship is, you know, you can't just be selfish all the time and say it's just all about me and what I want to do. You know, you have to give some. So that's pretty much all I want to talk about today, but I would love to hear um, the responses of other people and see if others have the same kind of thing going on. And if so, like how you deal with it or, you know, have you dealt with it? Have you found ways to get involved in things that work? So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about and I appreciate all of you watching. So thanks. Bye.